Do you think you're the boss at flying one of these toy hobby drones? Question is, do you have what it takes to pilot a professional grade drone? Let's find out. This beautiful machine is a DJI Inspire 1. It cost me five grand when I got it. In this video, I'll take you through exactly what it takes to set up and fly. Let's go. The DJI Inspire 1 comes with its own hard protective carry case, except there's no room inside for the drone to be extended or have the camera. Clicking the switch on the controller three times will fix this by lifting it up, creating enough room to put on the camera, and then twisting on with the quick release mechanism, the four propellers. After this, tell the app that you'd like to calibrate the compass, pick it up, spin around, change the angle, spin around one more time, and you should have a green light. There are two control sticks on the DJI remote. Pushing them towards the center turns on the propellers and we're ready to fly. Pushing up on the left hand stick lifts the craft into the air. At this point I like to check that the landing gear button is set to up. The controls are really pretty quite simple. The left hand stick going up and down controls the altitude of the craft. Push it up to go up, pull it down to go down. Turning it left and right changes the yaw. This is like steering in a car. Left for left, right for right. The right hand stick controls roll and pitch. This simply means push it forward to go forward, backwards to go backwards, left to go to the left, right to go to the right. The harder you push it, the faster it goes. The slower you push it, the slower it goes. Pretty straightforward. General flying can be accomplished by pressing forward on the right hand stick and then steering with left and right on the left hand stick. You'll find when you're going forward really fast, you might need to give the left hand stick a little bit of a push up just to lift the nose off so it doesn't dive and crash into the ground. You're probably thinking, I can do that. And really it is just like a first person shooter video game, except with up and down added. But there is one more thing that makes it completely different to flying a hobby grade drone. The craft connects to about 17 GPS satellites, which means it's constantly fighting to hold its position. Here I put the controller down and walk away. Basically this thing flies itself. That's probably something drone pilots who charge a lot of money don't want you to know. So the question is, how do they get those classic aerial shots? High speed flyover. Push the right stick forward, left one up at the last minute. How about right stick down, left stick up to lift upwards and backwards at the same time for that really cinematic pull out shot. This one, simply point the camera down and the right stick forward really softly. Time to up the ante. For this one, we've got to push the right stick to the left, but push the left stick back to the right. That pushes the craft to one side, but keeps it rotating towards the center, keeping our subject right in the middle. I mean, honestly, that orbit shot does take quite a lot of skill and adjustment to get the camera pointing in just the right direction. Well, at least it would if there wasn't a huge shortcut. A couple of years ago, DJI released a new firmware update where all these automatic modes were added. For this orbit, I basically set the distance I want, the speed that I want and the angle of the camera and then hit a button. Once again I can put down the controller and the thing flies itself. What does this look like in a proper shot? Well, get a load of this. first got my Inspire 1, I jumped all in. That means I paid an extra $3,000 to do a drone pilot course. It was pretty much a waste of time too. We spent most of the time learning how to read the weather, do maintenance and keep logbooks. In my opinion, the real skill comes from the cinematography. Planning the shot, picking location, making sure the shadows aren't in it, making sure that you're patient when you're flying. If you get all of those things right, you can get some pretty awesome shots.
Secrets out, the little toy drones are actually a lot harder to fly than the big professional grade ones. If you can afford it, I say go for it. You will not be disappointed by the performance, the image stabilization, and the overall quality of one of these professional drones. Take your time, practice, and before you know it, you'll have some awesome shots. G'day, it's Michael again. If you liked the video, then please click like. If you want to see more content like this in future, click subscribe and make sure you click on the bell to receive every notification. If you really want to support the channel and see exclusive content, become a patron. Visit my Patreon page. See you next time.